looking for a way to treat dad on this Father's Day. Look no further. Heather Ford is live in Del Mar with some sharp ideas. <laughs> Hi, Heather. <laughs> Hey, good morning. We are getting old school on you. We're talking about old-timey professional shaves and cuts here at V's Barbershop in Del Mar. All morning long, we're going to be live here showing you some of the professional services you can get for Dad. It's all about treating your pop. We know he's always roughing it in the yard, the garage, so let's give him a chance to sit back and relax. So I've got Scott McDaniel, the owner of V's here, to tell us a little bit about what Dad can get this weekend. Good morning to you. Good morning, Heather. Well, it's really uh, special for Dads in June, obviously. This this weekend we're doing hot lather straight razor shaves. We do all traditional services here at V's. So everything goes, harkens back to the 1930s. The razors, the massages, uh, and just treating dad very special. It's all about that in June. All right, one thing that really caught my attention was the massage and the hot towel, that kind of thing. It sounds like something dad wouldn't get on a daily basis. Normally you just pull out the Schick razor, you know, and you do the shave, but here you're gonna get a full treatment. Oh, very, very much so. Uh, all our treatments at V's end with a hot towel and a shoulder massage. Massage, and that really makes us unique in the uh, in the market here. We want to keep it real special for Dad, and it's all about the experience in addition to the care cut. Okay, but even though you're going old-fashioned, you've also got some really updated trends here. You know, we see the guys in the red carpet where it's like, well, we know they just went to the barber shop and they got shaved, but they look at they've got that great kind of five o'clock shadow look to them. So, are you guys uh, professionals in the field of of the manscaping? The manscaping and the grooming. You know, it's really an art to be able to, to give a person the look that they want. And that's really what we focus on here at V's. All of our barbers have years and years of experience. And they can cut a line on a nice goatee. I get mine done here. They can do the uh, massage and actually go long hair, short hair. It doesn't matter. All right. Let's take a look at some of the products up here because we're talking about tips and myths to the perfect shave. So if we take a look at this, let's talk about myth number one. Uh, well, myth number one is uh, shaving against the grain. Uh, guys were kind of traditionally taught back in the old days. This is with old school right here. Old school. You go up your face and against your grain, and that's going to unfortunately cause razor bumps. So what you want to do is you want to go with the grain and then across the grain. And importantly, ah. it, it's really important to look at the difference between old school and new school. Old school is basically soap and a two-bladed razor. New school are vibrating five-bladed razors. You want to pre-shave oil, lubricate the skin, because when you shave, you take a fine layer of skin in addition oh, to the whiskers. Okay. So you really want to make sure that you have some lubrication, some quality cream. You know, the, the old school brushes, they look nostalgic, but they actually serve a great purpose to lift the whiskers. And that's what the cream does, is it holds the whiskers <laughs> lifted so the razor goes through. I like calling them whiskers. <laughs> traditional barber shop. And then post. Post, you want to make sure you moisturize. Correct. I mean, you ladies have known it forever. Yeah. Guys typically don't take very good care of yeah. their skin. Now what's up with that, Raul? Are you, are you afraid of moisturizing? Are men afraid yeah, of, you know. of beauty products? Yes. From I a man who has to wear makeup every day. Water and soap, <laughs> son. You're That's it. Water and soap. Moisturizing? And soap. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Moisturize. You want to be silky smooth. The whole, the hold on. Look at this massage. Yeah, I don't, I don't like people. Wait. I'm not a fan uh, of Can you put that? Touching can I get some? some? Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Oh, yeah. Right here, how's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. See, that's not my thing. Why? I don't know. You don't want to put a towel uh, on your head like that? No. <laughs> I mean, it's a good, it's a great gift idea, but it's just not for me. This is the key. <laughs> know the dad, know the father before you get him something that maybe he's not into. But this is an awesome idea. Like, uh, it's an awesome idea, but you don't like it because you just don't like to be touched. No, not me personally. Okay, but it's a good idea. But it's a fantastic idea, I think. It's like the equivalent for a father, like uh, like the spa thing for, for, for mom. Okay. Like my dad mm -hmm. probably wouldn't go for that. But I know my dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Done? Yeah, I think we're done. You know me. It's like the whole massage thing. I know, you don't like to be touched. Yeah, it's like, ah, ah.